Hello and welcome to another video. I hope everybody is doing great. This video will be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a review type visibility uh, of the issues that exist within the Apache. And I've known this for some time, but the other day it was completely obvious and I just couldn't let it go, so I had to put together this video. With your guys' help, if I could request afterwards visit my community and my channel, I went ahead and added a poll there so you can vote yes or no if this helicopter does need fixing uh, based on your honest review. I'm not trying to convince you yes or no. I will be submitting this uh, video and also the, all the feedback that I get and even the poll to directly to DICE so that they can have visibility to this and hopefully provide these helicopters the adjustments they desperately need. These 127 millimeter rockets were adjusted and calibrated correctly, then you would be able to compete, I would feel, toe to toe and challenge the stealth helicopters anytime. Now let's uh, dive into the Apache 127 millimeter rockets. To me, it's a hitbox detection issue or the missiles just don't line up with the crosshairs. And so here I'll slow it down. Slow it down so we can analyze this. Crosshairs are on the fuselage. I shoot a missile. It goes underneath the belly but detonates. I shoot another missile. It goes to the left. I shoot another missile and it goes underneath. To me, the hit detection or the missiles are not lining up to the crosshairs. If we want to compare the Holcomb, yes, absolutely we can because the Holcomb can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Stealth all day because it has a 30 millimeter cannon. This is why the Apache desperately needs 127 millimeter rockets calibrated correctly in order to compete with the Stealth. I mean, look at this here. I don't need to say anything. It's perfect and you could do that all day. It's not balanced with the Apache. Just a uh, heads up for all you pilots. The big update coming out. DICE is putting active protection systems into the two tanks and we gotta adjust our flying tactics. This is a big one. And DICE, please, why did you not include the Holcomb and the Apache in this fix? Because they desperately need the tow missile fix. Not just the stealth. The Apache and the Holcomb need it badly. And I'll get into that later in the video. Okay, so bear with me. I, I tried my best to make this video as short as possible, but there is a lot to go over. I removed a lot of clips just to keep it short. Um, so I'm hoping that you're able to make it through the whole entire video to see all the examples and that way you can be able to vote honestly. And so here I challenge the hind. Of course I missed the toe because I was kind of moving around, but then I turn around to challenge him toe to toe. I have to raise my crosshairs, if you notice, and, well, that was a little fast. Let's let's slow it down. So I raise my crosshairs to compensate for that missile, because it, it, see, it, it, just, as soon as I raised it, it was able to hit it. My crosshairs are dead on that missile, we missed. Uh, that missile missed. That missile missed. That, it, it's just, it's completely off, and as you can see. That was a good example. So let's try, let's let's look at the Holcomb with the 127. Each one of these missiles seem to make contact with that aircraft. One after another, they're making contact. Now, it's hit or miss sometimes with the Holcomb. All right, let's get into this one. As I shoot the missiles, they go underneath, raise the crosshairs up, and I finally hit. I'm not that far from that hind. So in my opinion, it, the it should have made contact early on that missile right there went to the right so you know it's it's obvious this is very similar to the clip before this one and here I'm putting my crosshairs there one missile goes right this missile goes far right and then the third one finally makes contact not sure why uh, dice that's something to look at and here's the outcome of that whole situation <laughs> all right so here I'm circle back around to finish off a wildcat and 
Yeah, this missiles line up. And so on this one here, uh, well, let's, let's slow that down a little bit so we can really take a look at it. So the missiles here make direct contact to that Wildcat based on the crosshairs. They're pretty much dead on. Okay. So as soon as I switch here with this rotation left and try to hit this one here, that one's okay. That one hits. But watch this one. Miss. Crosshair's still on. Miss. They didn't even go inside the hitbox. This piece here is from the official experience about Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 uh, the other day. And here you go. Bye bye missiles. Where are they going? Come back. So let's slow it down a little bit. There you go. It's one. Two, three, four, and fine. It looks like the fifth one or sixth one hit. Where are you going? It's just wasting missiles. They're not on target. This one I don't even need to slow down. It's completely obvious. Bye bye. <laughs> well, here this gets real interesting when it when it's against infantry. So the missiles seem to be on target, matching up with crosshairs every time. If you notice. So that rocket was just launched. Circle over here and put my crosshairs in there and seemed to hit it where it should go. And here's another example. There's a bunch of guys in there shooting my rockets and they seem to be hitting where they need to be. This one, don't even need to slow down. Identified where that they were pinging me with the radar from down there on that grass and wherever I put my crosshair it is hitting dead on and same with that one bullseye so here's another piece this is pretty far distance I see him in there shoot a couple all three of those went directly into that area where the crosshairs were here it gets a little interesting as the missiles seem to be entering inside of there but they are somewhat I think hitting the ground um, but they're going in the right direction I hit a pillar there so that doesn't really count now this is where we get into the tow missile so as I come down just a tad to level out the crosshairs in that window and Help me out here. When I shoot this tow missile, look how high it goes. There is no control on that tow missile at all. And should it have gone through the window? Let me know. One of the adjustments on the big update, as I said before, is on the tow missile. Time to control was lowered. So technically, on if the Holcomb and the Apache have the same fix, I would have been able to control that tow missile there, but yet that lands right in front of that Wildcat when those crosshairs were on the back end of that vehicle. The Holcomb and the Apache need the adjustment as well. The stealth helicopters, they, they needed it too. They are suffering from the same issue, okay? And here's an example of that. So, stealth helicopter, Tow missile on target, crosshairs launched, and it hits the side of the mountain when I'm that high. That also happens to the Apache and the Holcomb every now and then. Here, tow missile hits. Boom, right on target. It's hit or miss with these tow missiles. They are a great feature to have in these helicopters, and it's been all the way around for all helicopters. Guys, thank you for all that you've been doing for this game in the community. You've been listening to all of us, and it's awesome. You've been trying your best and working hard to make this game the way that you originally intended it to be. These two helicopters, Holcomb and Apache, are still popular. Uh, if they were adjusted, more players would use them. But a lot of players still fly them, even though they're in their current state. Guys, that does it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully you're able to make uh, an honest vote after seeing some of the examples that I uh, put together. A little longer video than usual, um, 
But I did leave a lot of stuff out to make it sh as short as possible. Maybe uh, DICE will make a decision to say, hey, we'll separate the Holcomb and the Apache and make them on their own in the menu when you're selecting your vehicles. And the stealths could be on their own as well. So who knows? Hopefully, maybe the adjustments can be made and balance things out. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.